Okay, you guys. I'm going to show you guys the most simplest way to tint the two front windows on a car. It's like window tinting for dummies. And, and it's a very simple way for, for beginner people who want to learn how to tint windows. And it's sponsored by Tintwork. We have our own Tintwork app. So we want to get as many people to be able to tint as possible, to get them on a professional level where they can just go and make money and they can have the, they, they, their own uh, boss. They can be their own boss. Okay, these are the simple tools that you need. Okay, this, uh, you need a hard card. You need an angle card. 99 cent scissors. Side swiper. And if you want to use a bulldozer, I mean, not a bulldozer, if you want to use a, a, a hard squeezer, you can. You can use this, but I, I normally don't use that. And, and a black marker. This is a simple black marker. And I have this little thing here to pull the rubber back on a window so I can get in there. And you need a heat gun because we're going to shrink. We're going to shrink uh, the windows. And you also need some, some uh, paper towels. You got to have paper towels to get the moisture from around the edges so it won't get back into the film. And you need just a cheap spray bottle. This one here costs, this is more expensive spray bottle. It's like a master spray bottle here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first I gotta, okay, I just, I just work with the scissors and uh, I need a knife. Where's my knife? All right, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna measure the windows so that way you guys can easily know uh, the size of the window. This window here, you always want to go to this point here, to the, to the end point. Because up here, the window is a little bit longer. So this window, I'm going to cut at 35 by 20. So it's 35 by 20. Regular measurements. So okay, let's go over here. I'm going to go 35. Okay. I'm going to wet the window down. So that way, I can move the tent around. I can move it around. You got to make sure the liner is on the outside. That's going to be on the outside of the window. Because if you don't make sure the liner on the outside, you're going to cut the window for the, for the driver's side. So I'm doing the passenger side now. So I'm covering, I got to cover the whole window. See, I covered the whole window. Put a little water on it. I grab my black card. I'm going to lock it in. Don't be scared. Go hard. Because you don't, you don't want the tent to move. Go hard. All over. Now, I'm going to grab my black marker. I, can find here. I got a black marker. And what we're going to do, we're just going to go along the edges with the black marker. So, I'm going to start from here. I put it here. I go down. I go across here, all the way across. I come up here, all the way this way. You don't have to. You don't have to put the black mark on here because you got to let the window down. So now I'm gonna let the window down, but I gotta cut off some waist. I gotta cut off a little waist. I'll cut off a little waist, so that way it won't pull against nothing and pull the film off. So now. You have you have to you have to pull this back so it won't crinkle at the bottom. So you gotta pull this back. If you don't pull it back, it's gonna crinkle at the bottom and mess up. Then you just go down. Okay, and then you gotta have a gap. See how I have the gap along the window. I let the window down. I got the gap here. Now I'm gonna close the door. I close the door. Now I'm gonna cut along the edge of the window. I I poke my razor blade in. This is it's an offal blade. I poke, poke it in here like this. I go up. And you got to make sure you keep the offal blade on the window. Don't let it loose because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go all over the place. Okay, so I, I got this cut. So you notice that these not cut yet. Because sometimes when you're cutting, when, when the amateur is cutting, they cut the rubber and the customer get mad and you're going to have to pay $75 or $100 for this rubber. So I'm not showing you the the other way right now. You don't need to learn that way. You learn that in the future. Okay. So see, if you look, you can see it's outlined right now. 
everything is outlined on the window. And so I'm gonna take it over here. Try to give me some space. It's outlined. Now I gotta get my scissors. Got the 99 cent scissors. That way you won't cut yourself. And then I'm just gonna cut along the opposite. I'm gonna cut on the opposite side of the line. Don't cut within the window, but cut on the opposite side of the of the of the marker. See, I'm cutting on the opposite side about about a, a half an inch all the way so it'll tuck itself in now. There we go. See, I just cut that from this side here. You can see. I cut that, that go to outline a little bit right here. This is the regular line here, the marker line here. So I cut it a little bit this way. Okay, now we gotta do the other side. Cut a little bit at the bottom, same way with this. Same way, going on down, going down. Just make sure you stay on the opposite side. There we go. Now, and it don't even matter. It don't even matter if it's swiggly down here, as long as you, as long as you at the bottom, because this part is gonna, is gonna go unnoticed anyway. It's gonna be at the bottom. Now we're gonna cut this side here, the front part. Like I say, cut a little bit on the right hand side. Don't cut within the window. There we go. Now I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit. There we go. And now we got the shape of the window. Same shape of the window. I didn't cut no razor blade on the car, so I didn't mess anything up because I didn't cut the customer windows or nothing like that. So now we got to go to the car. You have to lift the window up so we can shrink it. So I'm going to lift it back up. I lift the window up. Okay, you got to put water on here so that way I can put the film back on that, put it in position to get ready to, sh to shrink the window because I got to get what they call fingers out. Okay, got my black card. You got to create a, a H shape. Go across the top, but don't touch the top of this because you'll crease it. Go across the top of inch down, go around, go this way, go down. So you're creating these fingers here that you got to get out. So you get my heat gun. So these are the fingers here. I gotta get the fingers out. Everything gotta be flat. Okay, there you go. Get it flat. We're gonna get you window tent dummies. We're gonna get you guys ready to tent. In about a five, about, I say about a month, easy you'll be ten, uh, two windows. Okay, see I got it all flat. Everything is flat. So that way there ain't no creases. So the reason I do this here, you make it flat. So if it had creases on the inside, outside, if I put it on the inside, it'd have creases and it'd be harder to lay the film down. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the film on. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the film on. So I got, I got my angle card, I got my squeegee. And I have my spray bottle. And now you gotta have a paper towel so you can get this moisture down. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna let the window halfway down. So in it. So this this window already have tint on it, but I'm not gonna use a razor blade or clean it, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna squeeze it just to demonstrate, to show you guys how to put the film on. So I just squeeze it out, get all the water. Just imagine that it's clean and everything. And now I have to put water back on it, so that way I can move the film around. And this, if you if, if you become a mobile tenor, this is very important to learn what I'm gonna show you now, how to peel the film. Because I normally peel, peel the film inside the vehicle. I don't peel it outside. Some people peel it outside, but they take a chance on getting a lot of dirt in there. So imagine I'm sitting in the vehicle, or I'm in a garage, it's fine. 
and I just I'm gonna peel it. I know I put water on it so that way it'll lock the dirt on it. So so if I move the film, the dirt can't come up and get within the film and be on the window. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm separating the film, the liner from the film right now. And now I got my hand stretched right here to this point here. Some people's hands are not that long, arms are not that long, but that's okay. All right, you can do it from any angle if you know how to do it. So now I'm gonna pull it down. Okay, you see how I pulled it halfway down? I didn't take it all the way off. That's important because you, when the ling against the door, it won't grab dirt. You know, some people, some people bottom drop it. They'll drop it in the car if, if they can take out the rubber. But we're not going to take out the rubber on this one here. So I'm showing you guys the easiest way to do it right now. Okay, then we'll apply it. Drop that. Okay. Get your whole hand like this and, and, and touch the window. So you gotta put your hand on like you got you gonna like slap it, pop, shut up. So so put your whole hand on the window so you can move it. Put your whole hand on the window right here, and then you can move it. See, I can move it so I can look at it. And you want to get very very hair uh, light right here, just very light right here. That way it won't have a big gap or anything. Okay, then I put my hand here, I hold it. I go up, I get the water out of here. Okay, I, I'm getting the water out. I can hold it right here. I can get the water out. Okay. I get my angle card. I wrap it like this. Then I go up and, and dry the edges right here. Go in there. I turn my angle card this way, and I go this way with it, like this. You see what I did? I went this way with it. Then I do the same thing with the other side. I turn the angle card this way and I put the paper towel on. Then I go like this. And I go down. Now, since I got all this dry, got it marshed out and everything, now I go up. Now because I went up, I, I it got dirt in here. So you want to make sure you get the dirt out of here. So I got a spray under here to wash the dirt down so I wash all the dirt down and now I grab it here at the corner and then I pull it free the tent I change my hands I go down right okay you want to put some water back on this so it'll move easily okay now this is the hard part where people have a problems at trying to tuck it they force it down and you don't need to force it down you got to badly maneuver. You get your thumb, you go up, you see this coming loose right here. You move this, you get your finger, and you kind of like slowly put it in there. You, get, you go on this end here, you get your thumb, you go slowly go up, put it in there, tuck it like this. And you see all this wrinkle here? So you just get your thumb, you go up right here, and you just kind of move it around like this. And then you get your angle card. And then you stick it inside the between the rubber and the door so that way you can bring it on down even. There we go. Okay, now get all the water out. There you go. Now you gotta get the edges, get the get the water out the edges. Go around this way, get the water out, and uh, got to make sure you keep the water off the, the door, because some customers, they get upset, you probably want to tackle you, you don't know, but you get it off. That's it. That's the window tinting, that's the, that's the easy way with the marker, and look here, you guys, it, it still got the marks on here, with the marker. This is an easy way. I was taught the complicated way, so it cost me thousands of dollars messing up cars. I, I, I did a lot of damage to cars over the 31 years of me tinting windows. But that's why I want to teach other people how to do it the safest way, and they can move to a more professional way. That's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's sponsored by Tent Work. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.